Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Phil Mouse and today I got some Star Wars Battlefront gameplay for y'all. I chopped up some clips. I hope y'all enjoy it. I enjoyed the hell out of this game more than I thought I would to be honest. But anyways, today I got a story for y'all. And it's actually pretty sad, pretty funny. Some people will find humor in it. Some people will probably talk shit. But anyways, I'm not a cooking guru. Like, I can't go into the kitchen and just take a bunch of bunch of different uh, spices and all that bullshit and cook up some some good shit like I'm okay at cooking I can cook simple things but I'm no I'm no uh, chef boy RD if you will but anyways last last week last Tuesday I come home from work and I get off at 11:30 so I get off work and I'm hungry as hell dude I'm, I'm starving and I didn't eat lunch at work so I got these pizzas in my freezer that you cook in the oven so I'm like alright I'll, I'll eat one of these pizzas this will fill me up this will be good anyway so I go in there get the pizza out of the out of the freezer and I preheat the oven to 450 alright well I go back in my living room and I'm sitting on the couch watching TV because I haven't been very motivated to do anything. It's been about a week, week or two weeks since I've put up my last video. And really, it's not just as, it's not just being lazy, not motivated to make videos. I haven't even really been playing. I got I got a new game not too long ago and I've barely played it. So, I've just been chilling after work, watching TV, watching movies, just chilling out, dude. Well, anyways, I go back in my, my living room, sit down on the couch, watching some TV, and I'm sitting there, and you know the oven takes about 10, 15 minutes to preheat, so I'm just chilling, and about 10, 15 minutes go by, and I start smelling smoke, and I'm like, well, why the hell am I smelling smoke right now? And my kitchen is separated from my living room by a wall. And it's got like this little open window type thing with like a little mantle on it where you can put like candles and pictures and shit like that. Well, anyways, I look over into my kitchen, dude, and it is filled up with smoke. Like there is so much smoke. And as soon as I saw that, my heart dropped. I thought I was going to go into the kitchen and see like a fire in my kitchen. My, I'm telling you, my heart hit my asshole when I saw this smoke. So I... Dude, I jump up so quick, and I run in there, and dude, there is so much smoke, it's unreal. So anyways, I open, I open the oven, and this is what I find. I find fucking pizza boxes in my oven. Now, there are pizza boxes in my oven because Blaine ordered pizza from Pizza Hut for him and his girlfriend, and apparently they didn't eat it all, and I guess they were leaving some of it for me, but I didn't know it was in there. And I don't check the oven before I preheat it. Like, I guess I should. That's, <laughs> that'd probably be a good thing. But I didn't, and I don't. You know, I just go in there, preheat it, and that's it. Well, anyways, I open the, I open the oven up, and I try to grab these boxes to get them out. And, dude, it is so hot. You know it's just cardboard boxes. Like, I can't even pick it up. So I have to go get some towels and wrap it around these boxes so I can pick it up. And I take it outside. I take it in my backyard and I just throw it, dude. I do not care right now. I just throw it out in the backyard. I said, fuck it, I'll deal with it tomorrow. So I go back in the house and I turn the little vent on. I go get a fan and I'm, I got the fan pointed towards my door trying to blow smoke out of my, out of my house. Because what it is, I have two smoke detectors, one of which is hooked up to my alarm system, and whenever this thing detects smoke, the little panel alarm goes off, and it's it's god awful annoying, it's loud, and it's just it's ridiculous to deal with. Well, anyways, this dude will not stop going off because it don't matter if you turn the alarm off, if if the smoke detector detects smoke, it's gonna keep going off. And it's very annoying, like I said. But anyways, I end up having to stand there for like 45 fucking minutes turning this alarm on and off. Or, you know, turning it off after it's coming on like numerous times. Dude, after 10 minutes, the fire department shows up. 
and it's actually good because I know that it works and they got there fairly quick so I was impressed with that but at the same time it was kind of embarrassing because they knocked on my door I opened it they said sir is everything all right and I said yeah man everything's cool I just you know preheated my oven and there were some pizza boxes in there so I look like a damn fool thank you Blaine <laughs> and it's it was just ridiculous and I like I said I could not get the damn thing to go off I ended up standing there with my hand over the little speaker thing on on the panel of the alarm because the damn thing is so loud and it's it's really annoying it, if you've ever heard an alarm system go off it's it's very loud and it will just like do it'll rack your damn eardrums and anyways I almost burnt my house down and and like I said dude my heart dropped when I walked into my kitchen and so moral of this story is if you own your own house or you live in an apartment you live by yourself and you're cooking something in the oven and you're about to preheat it dude always always double check to make sure there is nothing inside the oven when you turn it on because it will cause a bad day I mean it caused a bad day for me and nothing really happened like I, I got it I, I luckily noticed it in enough time if I would have went back to my little office or whatever and put my headset on and got into a game dude I I very well might have burnt my house down so I'm actually thankful that I haven't been very motivated to do much and I was close by in the living room so I am thankful for that and I'm very lucky because I could have easily burnt my house down and you know my world would have turned upside down you know as far as living goes so anyways like I said always check your oven dude like it, it will scare the ever-living shit out of you and luckily I didn't panic luckily I was still close by when it when it happened so anyways if you enjoyed this give the video a thumbs up and as always, I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace out.